Hi, this is Gornia from the Science Healing Academy. Today I'm talking to you about tuning fork activators and how to maximize the activation of your tuning forks for healing. There are so many activators to choose from and it can be a little overwhelming. So let's break it down and keep it simple. Before I begin showing you all the many activators, let me just break it down on how to activate a tuning fork. Let me demonstrate to you with this unweighted tuning fork and this soft rubber activator. We soften our shoulders, we hold the tuning fork not too rigidly in our hands, a little bit of movement, activating it by striking like so, not like this, and we pull back from activation. Let's compare it to another activator. This activator is, you guessed it, a hockey puck. When we activate our tuning fork, it sounds a little bit louder and the overtones are higher. Can you hear the difference? So to recap, if you want a softer, more harmonious sound, you could use this lovely soft rubber activator. It's nice close to the head, around the ears, or you could use this hard puck for higher overtones, often good for shifting energy or working around the biofield. Let's look at weighted tuning forks. This one here I have is an arm fork. It doesn't matter what fork you have. You can do it a few different ways. One way is to use this fleshy part of your hand in here. Again, bounce off. You can hear it. Sounds quite nice. And you can feel it in your hand. We spoke about activating the fork in the hand. Another way people activate forks are on their knees. We don't particularly recommend it because it does hurt. And if you're doing it for long periods of time, you can feel it. It works if you need to use it by all means, but I wouldn't recommend it doing it daily. Another activator for the weighted tuning fork is one of these. We sell these in our shop. You can activate it by tapping up the side here. You can also use this activator on a unweighted tuning fork. So let's say you're walking around a yoga studio or a client who's lying on a plinth. This activator here is called a leg activator. It is tied around your thigh, your leg, and clicks in and you can activate it as you're walking around. Another way to activate tuning forks is by tapping them off each other. If you have three forks like this, you could tap them if you wanted to get the sound of all three. Bear in mind, you may damage your forks if you're hitting them quite regularly and quite loudly. And also the sound can be quite disruptive when a client is lying down, so do bear that in mind. We hope you found these tips useful. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Sound Healing Academy. Thank you.